Okay, so in science today, boys and girls, what we are talking about is having to do with the depth, how deep something is. Now, the best way to do this is you got to do some experiments. Experiments, I can't talk. So you can use water in a clear container, which is what I have done, and I will show you, or you can dig in the dirt or put dirt in like a clear bucket or put, put it in something. That's another way to do it because the words we're talking about are deep and shallow. And that shows us how deep some, that the depth of something. So I thought of like a pool, like when you go swimming in the summer. Now this shows us water that is shallow. Because when my kids were little, I'd say, oh, we have to stay in the shallow end. And that's where there's not a lot of water. Well, there's a, there's a lot of water, but the water, it doesn't get deep. Okay? That means, like, that's where um, you can stand up. Your feet will touch the ground. Look at this. It's shallow. Okay? Shallow. And so... You can show them what shallow would look like if you were digging in the dirt, if you had dirt inside of a container, or when you're digging and you have something that is, this is a shallow hole. And when my dogs are digging in the backyard, they don't dig shallow holes. They dig deep holes. <laughs> they dig craters. <laughs> Literally, I will fall because it is so bad. I'm walking and I, I don't see the hole and it looks like bombs have been dropped. Literally, it is so bad. It is so horrible in my backyard. Um, so, there. this is deep. This is deep. Okay, look how high that water is. I'd be really careful not to spill it on my computer. So, this is, look how high. That is deep. So, if you're in the pool and you were in the deep section, that would be the section that you couldn't touch, okay? Your feet would not be able to touch if you were in the deep area. And if you're in the backyard, if you're somewhere where there's dirt and you're digging a hole, you're digging a deep hole. That means really low, you're going down far. That's deep. That's So we're talking about the depth, the depth of something, okay? So, this is shallow. There's not very much um, in there, okay? So when you compare shallow and deep, shallow, deep, okay? So that's what we're doing today. So you go have a science experiment and you figure out and talk about the words shallow and deep, okay? Can you do it? I know you can. Okay, show me a video or some pictures of you doing some science experiments, talking and using those words. Okay, families, make sure they say them and say, this is shallow and this is deep. Okay, have them use the words and talk about it with you. And think of some ideas or some, some different ways that things are shallow, like when they're in the bathtub, maybe when they're cooking. Okay? Things like that. Okay? Okay. Take care. Bye-bye.